The smell of a morgue is something you never forget. It's a, it's a mixture of chemicals and death. Strange combination of powerful cleaning products mixed with sweet decay. Fills the air. Makes it hard to catch your breath at times. The morgue is always spotlessly clean. I mean, the floor is practically reflective, except worn away in some patches from endless cleaning. And it's quiet. So quiet. I, you could hear a pin drop. And that's the reason why I liked it so much. I'm David Murray. Uh, Dave. I'm not normal. I know that. I've always known that. Mama, she used to tell me. I worked at the Harris County Morgue. First got a job there when I was 17. It's pretty unsocial hours, but I didn't mind much back then. I mean, other kids, they were not too friendly to me. You know, in gym class, I'd take my pants off and they would comment and, and look, cover their nose. Smelt. The school nurse even had words with me about body odor and uh, hygiene. You see, Mama told me that it was dirty. She caught me, caught me touching it when I was very young. Papa, he, he'd show me how. Mama said, you mustn't do that. It's a very bad thing. Don't touch it. So I didn't, not ever, not even to clean it. I didn't touch it to use the restroom. I'd go into a cubicle and, and sit down. I knew it smelled. Still, I, I couldn't touch it. I, I couldn't clean it. I used to pretend that it wasn't there, that it wasn't even a part of me. That's why I like the morgue. And it's there where I could be alone and it was quiet and there was no name calling. I like it. To start with, they had me just cleaning up and filing papers, but pretty soon they had me cleaning and preparing the bodies. Now, I worked there for over a decade. Look, I'm sure you're aware of the reports of organ harvesting in the area. Look, all morgues were being investigated, and I'll say that I had nothing to do with that. I put that down to the south side. But still, they investigated the Harris County Morgue. And the police were interested in me. They raided my home. They saw them. Shelves upon shelves of them. You see, it was at the morgue while I was cleaning the bodies. It was then that I was able to, to see them and to touch them, to, to clean them. You have to clean the entire body of a corpse. The penises that I saw, they were all so different. Some big, some small, some with extra skin coming over. And I was able to touch them and, 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 and clean them because they weren't my own dirty one. I was fascinated. I used to sketch them as best I could, but I, I'm no artist. So I take a picture and look them back over, but it wasn't enough. Now, I wanted to look at them for longer, so I cut one off, put it in a Ziploc bag, and, and dropped it in a jar of formalin and, and watched it float. No one is inspecting the groin of a corpse once I have dressed it, so I started to do it more regularly, and Mama then died, and I was alone with my collection, and it was able to spill out from under my bed and into the hallway and fill the house. She was gone. 
It was sad, but it was strange. She was gone, so I was finally able to clean it like I did with the ones in the morgue and, and, and touch it like Papa showed me. At home, my museum, shelves upon shelves of jarls, each containing one member. Last time I counted, I had 456. I repeat that I had nothing to do with the organ harvesting, except I was arrested, I was investigated, I was taken for psychiatric evaluation. My collection was logged, my collection was taken, my collection was evidence. My lawyer told me, first time offender, rattled upbringing, you'll be let off easy. You'll be okay with meds, you'll be out soon. Got six months to go. You know what? I really do miss the morgue. 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 I really do miss the morgue.